Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget TV. Starting at number 5. LG A2 OLED. No matter their price range, OLED TVs promise near-perfect black levels and exquisite colors, and that's exactly what you're getting with the LG A2 OLED. To wit, the LG A2 OLED offers a decently sized OLED panel with top-notch color, surprisingly good sound, and low input lag. Its smart platform, WebOS, is a clean, well-organized interface for navigating the TV and accessing its features and despite it being paired by only 20 watt, downward-firing speakers, there's no lack of clarity even in hectic scenes where dialogue, action sounds, and music are all blazing at once. Admittedly, you won't get everything with the A2 that you will with pricier and tonier LG TVs. You'll have to settle for a lower refresh rate, an older HDMI standard, and lower brightness. But considering that it wasn't that long ago that OLEDs were unthinkable at the sub $1300 price point, to say nothing of the sub $1000 price point at which the smallest model can currently be found, those features might be small prices to pay if all you can pay is a small price. Coming at number 4. Hisense U6H. The Hisense U6H is the entry-level offering in Hisense's Yield series of TVs, utilizing local dimming on its backlit LCD to boost brightness and quantum dots to kick up the color. Hisense's gamble is that the combination of these features, plus its suite of ULED picture enhancement technologies, will allow this set to deliver more than you'd expect to see for less than you'd expect to pay, and it's one that generally pays off. The U6H may not get quite as bright as its splashier siblings, the U7H and the Hisense U8H, but for its class, it fares pretty well. Its SDR brightness as measured in filmmaker mode, the mode that most closely matches out-of-the-box calibration, lands at 537 nits, decent but not spectacular, but enough to win against competitors such as the Amazon Fire TV Omni, the Samsung Q60B, the TCL Series 6 Roku TV, and the Vizio M-Series Quantum. At number 3. TCL 5 Series Google. The TCL 5 Series Google TV, S546, wowed us with its combination of smart TV features, solid performance, and great value for your dollar. Building on the foundation of the already good 5 Series, the move to Google TV gives the affordable 4K smart TV a more premium smart TV platform, one that offers personalized and customizable suggestions, a huge assortment of smart features, and deep Google Assistant integration that makes it a viable center for the entire home of connected gadgets. But it also offers a step up in other aspects of the TV. As we found in our extensive testing, the 5 Series Google TV is a more polished version of the 5 Series TV when it comes to everything from color quality to lag times. And as well as delivering an excellent QLED 4K display, you also get a slick remote control, and a surprisingly wide array of gaming features for a 60Hz TV. For a smart TV that sells for under $1,000 for most size options, it's easily one of the best TVs on the market. Number 2 of my list. CL6 Series Roku TV. TCL has long been acclaimed for bringing a lot of performance to TVs that don't cost a lot of money. That trend continues with its latest 6 Series Roku TV, the 65R655, which amps up key aspects of its performance, particularly brightness and gaming potential, while keeping the price at $999.99. Throw in the super easy to use Roku TV interface and you have a set that more than delivers on its picture promise without busting your budget. If you're a gamer, or if you can't bear to give up bright and dark details when watching movies or TV shows, you'll find a lot to love about it. Its sound and color performance can't match the top TVs on our list, but they can't stop this set from punching well above its weight where it counts. So if maximizing your TV buying dollar is your goal, Roku TV is a small price to pay for a TV that's as packed, and as low-priced, as the TCL 65 or 655. And number 1. Roku Plus Series. 
The Roku Plus Series 4K CLED TV marks the streaming giant's first foray into sets after long focusing on software and set-top and plug-in devices, and the move is a successful one. In addition to delivering a ton of screen for its starting price of $499, these TVs also give you surprisingly good picture quality and sound, two things that are usually the first to go with budget sets. Despite its price, the Plus series does not look cheap, a gray, metal bezel surrounds the screen on all sides, measuring less than an eighth inch on the left, right, and top, and about two-thirds inch on the bottom to allow for a front and center chrome Roku logo. The Plus series uses Quantum Dot LED technology to produce more and more vivid colors and increased brightness. And in everything we watched, we found that the TV lived up to Roku's claims. Picture vibrancy does start fading as you move away from the center of the screen, but it took a fair distance for the display to look unbearable. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.